No, 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 I, not really. I don't think so. But is it worth it? Not really. You like just get some sandwich with your money, I guess. I I was literally like literally forced to buy this this piece of crap like for eighteen dollars because stuff was really expensive here. And this Optiplex 13, 1320 is like it has an i3 fourth gen I think it's a hundred twenty five dollars with eighty gigs of RAM and let's uh, uh, okay it's not that expensive but uh, the graphics card really killed me. Well, uh, if you really need a computer, like your laptop sucks, or you like really want to game to do something, then you can go for it. I guess it's not really a big deal. But if you like really need those resources, those colors and graphics, then just build your own computer, like a little bit of patience, save up some money, and here you go. Okay, so this is the Optiplex thirteen twenty. Yeah, it um, as you can see. The graphics card is inside, so I'm going to do some editing magic in 3, 2, 1. If this was the worst f***ing editing the entire YouTube conspiracy theory, then I guess it is. But anyways, the graphics card. It has an HDMI, uh, yeah, HDMI port, VGA, and DVI. It doesn't have a fan though, fanless design, virtually, virtually, hold on, hold on, virtually silent, yeah, it's virtually silent, so we're gonna put this inside, again, and so yeah, uh, basically there are these screws, hold on, I'm gonna put this right here, and also, this is a Wi-Fi adapter I bought for like $7, it does the job, not that well, but it does the job. If you have an Ethernet cable, just use it. So there are these screws right here. As, as you can see, these screws, I have to remove them. And I already did. So let's just do this. Take it off. And don't do that. So, so this is the inside of the computer, as yes, you see, the, this the cooler and fan. This is a uh, supposedly an exhaust fan. It's pretty dusty, bro. It got this. It dusty like over a month now. Anyways, this is the PCI Express connection, I think. Yeah. So we have to push this thing. We do just push, push, push it, and here we go. Now we have access to what sure that thing is called. We'll put it anyways. Okay. Hold on, like that. And push. That's satisfying. I just make sure. It was paranoid. It doesn't get in well. Here we go. Everything's in place now. I'm just going to put the the water it is gone back. So yeah, let's just talk about the better of the specs. It has 8 gigs of RAM and an Intel i3 4th gen, I think. Uh, yeah, I spent a little bit of money into thermal paste, which I didn't need because as far as I see, like this is, was pretty clean. Everything seemed to be new, like the clean all stuff, so I didn't use the thermal paste. So yeah, let's just put this all back the way it was before and let's get into the performance. Uh, everything is back to the way it was before, besides like the connections and the cables. So first off, I'm going to connect the HDMI cable. It's supposed to be here, hold on. God damn it. Here it is. This is the graphics card HDMI cable, it's around here. There is no HDMI cable in the PC's motherboard, there is only a display port which I can't use, apparently. I'm going to plug this in. Oh, right, hold on. Are you kidding me? Bruh. Come on. Come on. God. I got it. I'll never forget this HDMI kit.
never. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to. These are the keyboard and mouse cables. I'm just going to put them in right here. That. Anyways, this is the Wi Fi adapter that I bought for seven dollars. Don't do that. It has a chunk though, but don't do that. Unless you're broadcast mine. And yeah, finally, this is the alimentation cable. So just go, plug it the computer in, and let's get into the performance. In a super flash world, Minecraft seemed to work pretty well. At around 16 FPS in gameplay and 13 FPS recording. In CSGO, the gameplay experience didn't seem to be bad at all. Besides, the recording experience rate seemed to stutter a bit. But yeah, if you're not into recording and all that, you'll be good. However, if you really need to record or stream your game, then you might need something more powerful. The even benchmark results didn't seem to be good at all, which is due to the low GPU performance. So, more or less, buy a better GPU if you have the money, or maybe just buy a used one for the same price. If you love this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below on your, on your very first experience with a computer world. We love to hear that. I'll see you all in the next video. I'm your local tech nerd. Peace out.